Hey everyone, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have the Metrix Swing Arm License Plate Relocator Kit, the player slingshot. So you may have noticed that the bulky factory license plate holder that came with the slingshot has a less than desirable look and in our opinion it doesn't quite fit the aggressive bylines of the slingshot. So we partnered up with our friends over at Metrix to bring you guys a swing arm mounted license plate relocator kit that not only improves the visual appeal, but is also the perfect solution for those of you that need to move your license plate for mods such as the rear exit exhaust or a rear fender. This product has been specifically designed to keep your plate in the horizontal position so that you don't get hassled by the cops. It's 100% bolt on and includes all necessary hardware and wiring for seamless installation. So now follow me as I walk you through the installation process. Always be sure your ignition is in the off position before you begin. First disconnect your license plate light, then unscrew the two T40 Torx bolts to remove the factory holder. Now cut the wire for the license plate light halfway down, leaving enough access on both ends to be rewired to the extension. Then attach the included connectors to the wires you just clipped. and then connect the black wire from the slingshot to the black wire on the extension. Followed by the green wire from the slingshot to the red wire on the extension. Now unscrew the four T40 Torx bolts from the passenger's half of the underside rear deck lid. Then fish the wire loom up and pull down the corner of the deck lid enough to grab the loom and run it down the inside back panel to the opening at the swing arm, making sure the loom is safely and securely tucked up and out of the way of any moving parts. Next, you can take the other end of the license plate light connector and using the remaining two connectors, attach the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the green wire. And always be sure to tape each individual connector with electrical tape before taping them together. Now take off your license plate from the factory holder. Followed by the factory light by unscrewing these two eight millimeter bolts. And don't forget to cut the zip tie that holds the wire in place. Then you can take your light and attach it to the new bracket reusing your stock hardware. Followed by attaching your license plate to the new bracket as well. Now you'll need to remove this T40 Torx bolt located at the top of the belt guard so you can attach the wire loom and bracket with the same bolt. Then locate this other threaded hole on top of the swing arm and attach the other wire loom and bracket with the new bolt from the kit. Next, 
you can remove this T40 Torx bolt from the side of the belt guard and attach your new license plate bracket with the new included hardware. And then finally, plug in your license plate light, screw your rear panel back in, and you're good to go. All right guys, that's all there is to it. Now if this product interests you, head on over to slingmods.com today and grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like and subscribe below to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest mods for the player slingshot. I'm Brandon signing out. We'll see you on the road.